This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel.com. For all the best Photoshop and Lightroom tips, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or go to Facebook.com slash TipSquirrel. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and today we're going to be looking at a portable catalog solution for Lightroom 5. In a previous video, I looked at using Lightroom on two computers, using the Export as Catalog feature to merge new images from my laptop computer here onto my main desktop computer. However, that's only part of the picture. Here on my desktop computer, I have tens of thousands of photographs in my main catalog, and I'd like to be able to bring those images with me to have available on my laptop when I'm traveling and away from my studio. Now, of course, I could bring a large external drive along with me with all my photographs on that drive. That's certainly one solution, although there could be a bit of work involved to synchronize that drive to make sure it contains all the latest data. And it could be an inconvenience, potentially even a risk of loss, to carry that extra drive around with me when I'm traveling. Lightroom 5 introduced a new feature called Smart Previews, and Smart Previews offer us a different solution to the portability problem. I'm not going to explain how Smart Previews work in this video, but I will point you to some good resources in the notes for this video on the Tip Squirrel blog and on YouTube. What we will do in this video is to show how Smart Previews can facilitate an automated portable workflow using cloud storage to keep multiple computers in synchronization. Let's begin with a quick review of the structure of a Lightroom installation. On our computer, we have Lightroom installed. Lightroom makes use of two separate types of data. The first we see here on the left are the original photos that we've imported into our computer. These may be on an internal hard drive, but more often your original photos are going to be stored on a separate hard drive capable of holding a very large number of photos. Lightroom also makes use of a file called the catalog, which holds information about your images and pointers to their location. In the same folder as the Lightroom catalog, Lightroom stores its temporary previews, which are small format JPEG images showing your photos rendered with all the developed settings. In earlier versions of Lightroom, we could just take the catalog and previews folder, leaving the original photos behind, and we could still work with our catalog in a limited way. We could see the images that had previews generated, and we could rate them and assign keywords. Now, however, Lightroom version 5 has introduced the concept of smart previews, which are also stored in the same Lightroom catalog folder. These smart previews are a compressed form of digital negative, and they'll allow us much more capability for editing and for exporting images when our originals are offline. Since the smart previews are much smaller than the originals, we simply need to take these smart previews along with the catalog file and synchronize them over to our laptop for a portable solution. That's where cloud storage comes in, and I use Dropbox for this purpose. Let's go back over to Lightroom, and under the Edit menu, I'm going to choose Catalog Settings. Here we can see the location of my catalog, and it's located within a folder under my Dropbox main folder. If I switch over to my File Explorer, here we can see the Lightroom catalog, along with Previews and with Smart Previews. Because these files and folders are located under my Dropbox main folder, they're automatically synchronized to the cloud and to any other computer that I have running Dropbox on my account. That includes my laptop computer. We can see here that the Lightroom catalog file is about one gigabyte in size. And if we look at the properties of the Smart Previews folder, we can see that this folder is much larger, almost 28 gigabytes in size. Now here's the trick. The regular previews also take up a lot of space. And this can fluctuate in size. But remember that Lightroom can regenerate these regular previews at any time from either the original photos or from the smart previews. So it's not necessary to synchronize the regular previews. We only need to synchronize the smart previews. 
So what we can do is go into our Dropbox settings and we can find that here in Windows and we'll go under Preferences and here in the Advanced tab of Dropbox we'll choose Selective Sync. Here within this list we can choose which folders are synchronized to Dropbox and which are not. And here within my Lightroom Catalog folder you can see that I've set it so that the Smart Previews are synchronized but the regular previews are not. This saves quite a bit of space on Dropbox and it makes the synchronization faster. With Lightroom and Dropbox set up in this way, we can exit from Lightroom and we can see here in Dropbox that all that remains is the catalog and the smart previews as well as the regular previews that aren't being synchronized. Before we use Lightroom on the laptop, we'll need to make sure that Dropbox finishes its synchronization to the cloud. And there we can see with the green check mark that this file has now been fully synchronized. Now we can switch over to the laptop. Here I'm running a MacBook Pro with Lightroom installed and with Dropbox installed with the same selective sync settings that we had on the main machine. We can see that the regular previews are not synchronized but the smart previews are. Now we can start Lightroom here on the Mac and we're looking at the same view that we saw a moment ago on the Windows desktop. If we look over here in the Folders tab, we can see that all the folders are offline and looking in the Histogram panel, we can see that we're looking at only smart previews. There are no originals. However, with this smart preview selected, I can go to the Develop module. Here I can make some changes and I'll just do a quick black and white treatment so that the change is obvious. I'll switch back to the library module and here's our edited photo. We can even export this modified photo to the hard drive, to email, or to social media. Now in order to demonstrate the portable synchronization, I'm going to exit from Lightroom here on the Mac and I'm going to allow Dropbox to synchronize with the changes I've made. Once the synchronization is complete, we can switch back to the Windows desktop computer and make sure that Dropbox has finished synchronizing there and we have the updated Lightroom catalog. We can go ahead and start Lightroom once again. And here we are with the same catalog. And this time, all of our folders and photos are online, as you can see here. And we're looking at the original and the smart preview. And look here, our develop changes have carried over from the laptop. So using Smart Previews and Dropbox, or any other cloud storage solution for that matter, you can enable a portable catalog solution that allows you to travel with your catalog and be able to view, rate, and develop and share your images while you're on the go without toting around a large hard drive full of originals and any of the work you do while you are portable is reflected back to your main catalog on your base system. There are some limitations and you'll need to make sure you do have enough space available in your cloud storage, but here you can see a very robust portable solution that's easy to set up and easy to maintain. Consider this just another part of your portable workflow. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography tips, tricks, and information there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001, and you can find me on Google Plus by visiting gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.